the most scary extrasolar planets discovered. Our universe is a beautiful place, right? It's also extremely scary. Scientists have tried for decades to find planets that are similar to Earth, and the requirements are pretty demanding. It would need to orbit a sun-like star, but be at a safe distance, and just happen to have all the right ingredients for us to survive. So far, NASA has discovered a 4401 exoplanets, planets beyond the solar system. A few are believed to be Earth-like, while others have strange atmospheres or orbit deadly stars. Since the first exoplanets were discovered in the 1990s, scientists have found planets with extreme temperatures, covered in molten seas, ones that are filled with water or ice, and worlds that have the density of styrofoam. We all know that space is weird as, its mysteriousness is precisely the reason why people were fascinated with the night sky and space exploration since the beginning of life on Earth. There are things there that are beyond our comprehension and that defy our traditional laws of physics. Hence, no matter how hard we try to understand and explain our vast universe, there will always be mysteries out there that are yet to be unraveled. We're going to be listing the top most scariest, spookiest, and just plain downright creepy looking extrasolar planets. WASP 76 Bits, the exoplanet that rains molten iron. The ultra hot planet was discovered in 2016 and is almost as massive as Jupiter. Located around 640 light years away from Earth, the exoplanet WASP 76 Bits has scorching temperatures a permanently dark side, and molten iron rains. The star is so hot that it is tearing apart the planet's atmosphere and the extreme gravity causes giant tidal forces that are stretching the planet into the shape of an egg. Temperature on this planet is about 2,210 degrees Celsius. It orbits around its star in 1.8 days and is tidally locked to its star, meaning the same side faces it at all times. As a result, the planet has one burning hot side that continuously faces the star and a cooler, constantly dark side that faces away from the star. The planet's day side has high temperatures of above 4,352 degrees Fahrenheit. That's so hot, almost too hot, that it separates molecules into atoms and causes metals such as iron to evaporate into the atmosphere. The surface on this side also receives thousands of times more radiation than the Earth receives from the Sun. The star-facing side of WASP-76 bits is roasted by radiation that is thousands of times more intense than that Earth receives from the Sun, while the side that faces away from the F-type star experiences perpetual night. Yet even though the day side of the planet experiences hellish temperatures, that doesn't mean that conditions on the night side are a walk in the park. The Killer Steam of Gliese 1214b This exoplanet is eerily similar to Earth, but with one steaming hot twist. Gliese 1214b is a super-Earth orbiting a red dwarf star located only 40 light-years away from our planet. This exoplanet turned out to be a water world, with even more water than Earth. But this isn't the type of water you would want to lay next to due to the slight chance that you may get cooked alive. The exoplanet has high temperatures of 446 degrees Fahrenheit and a thick, steamy atmosphere made up mostly of hydrogen and helium. As a result, its water is likely in the form of steam, high-pressure ice, or a hot, viscous fluid. The planet is in the habitable zone of Gliese 1214 and has oxygen and water, but any life there is far from life as we know it. Gliese 1214p might not actually look too bad at first glance. It's a super Earth-sized planet that's rich in water. What can go wrong? Apparently, it can go quite wrong. Ever wondered what it would feel like to be cooked alive? If you landed on this planet, you'd have a pretty good answer. Gliese 1214p may be rich in water, but this definitely is not the kind of water you'd want to be drinking. Not only does this planet have a bone-crushing pressures with scorching hot temperatures, it has a deadly dense ocean at the bottom of its atmosphere. The planet is literally an egg cooker. 55 Cancri E is a diamond planet. This exoplanet in orbit around sun-like host star 55 Cancri A may be a real gem. 
the first super-Earth discovered around a main sequence star, it was thought to be so abundant in carbon that thanks to immense pressure and 2,700 Celsius temperatures, its interior was made of diamond. It orbits a star called Copernicus, located only 41 light-years away from Earth, and only takes about 0.7 days to complete one orbit around its star. More recent research has taken the shine off the diamond theory, revealing less carbon than previously thought, but the nature of 55 Cancri E remains enigmatic and hotly contested. This is a so-called diamond planet. Diamonds are pretty good. For one, they are extremely valuable. For two, you may or may not be able to make a pickaxe out of one, but you'll have to be looking elsewhere. 55 Cancri, unfortunately, is not on your side. First of all, it's a carbon planet, which means the atmosphere is mostly consisted of, well, you guessed it, carbon, and it is oxygen poor. 55 Cancri E has a molten surface with silicates in its atmosphere that condense into clouds on the tidally locked planet's dark side. HD 8606 bits, showers of molten glass. This nightmare world is only 64 light years away and the closest hot Jupiter to Earth. It may look like a gorgeous deep blue marble floating serenely in space, but if you had the misfortune to visit this massive gas giant, you'd soon regret it. As well as being spun furiously by winds blowing at 8,700 km per hour, you'd be cut to shreds by glass rain. The planet's delightful blue color is the reflection of silicate in its atmosphere. Silicate that, when heated by the planet's deathly 1300 Celsius temperature, forms grains of glass. Astronomers discovered the planet in 2001, and it has a mass of 4.38 Jupiters and takes 111.4 days to complete one orbit of its star. Its wild orbit takes it from 79 million miles from its star before swinging it back to around 2.8 million miles. For comparison, Mercury only gets to 28 million miles away from the Sun at closest approach. HD 8606 bits is notable for its hellish-looking surface, and hellish temperatures too. The temperature goes from 500 Celsius to 1200 Celsius in just 6 hours. So where would you go to escape this brutal heat? Away from its star, towards the night side of the planet, right? Bad move, because the night is actually hotter. The planet has a mysterious hot spot, which means it is actually cooler at day than it is at night. Towards sunrise, sunset, and night, temperatures exceed 1200 Celsius. This is hotter than molten rock. Kelt 9 bits, the hottest exoplanet. Ultra hot Jupiter type exoplanet Kelt 9 bits is so scorching that it's even hotter than many stars. It orbits so close to its sun that its surface sizzles at 4,300 Celsius, so hot that it has atomic iron and titanium in its atmosphere, and a year lasts less than a day and a half. Sun bombards the planet with 44,000 times the solar energy that Earth's sun gives it, and it's about 56% hotter than the sun. That all makes for a terrifying amount of heat. During the hottest hours, the planet's temperature hits up to 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit, and that means the atmosphere is caught in this vicious cycle of destruction. Those hottest temperatures are enough to literally tear molecules apart. According to popular mechanics, atoms like hydrogen form during the cooler seasons, then get superheated just a few hours later to be shredded like pulled pork. They'll reform later, and then the whole cycle starts over again. Scientists feel fairly safe in saying that there's no chance life, of any kind, can exist there, and even if it did, it won't be existing for long. The host star, Kelt 9, is kicking off so much radiation that there's a good chance it's going to eventually vaporize little Kelt 9 bits. Tres 2B Afraid of the dark? Make it a point to never, ever go to the Jupiter-sized planet called Tres 2 bits. According to the Harvard Gazette, Researchers aren't sure what's going on with this particular planet, but they do know that it reflects less than 1% of the light that hits it. That makes looking at the planet kind of like looking at a wall painted with matte black paints, and that's just weird, especially considering that it's so hot. It's too hot for cloud cover. And here's the thing. Even though the atmosphere is filled with chemicals, like titanium oxide in a gas form, 
that absorb the light. It's not enough to actually explain what's going on here. The authors of a study on the planet say that one of the likely explanations is a chemical that lowly Earth science doesn't know anything about. Princeton University's David Spiegel explains. It's not clear what is responsible for making this planet so extraordinarily dark. However, it's not completely pitch black. It's so hot that it emits a faint red glow, much like a burning ember or the coils on an electric stove. Wait, what? As if the sort of Satan's soul color scheme wasn't eerie enough, the planet is also insanely hot. Temperatures average somewhere upwards of 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit, which finishes off the whole fire and brimstone sort of look. Tres 2 bits orbits a star some 750 light years away in the direction of the constellation Draco and is the darkest planet or moon ever discovered. It's darker than the blackest lump of coal, than dark acrylic paint you might paint with. It's just ridiculous how dark this planet is. That's all in this video. If you like the information, please like and subscribe to this channel and be connected for more space information.